Now, for the most part, everybody wants to stand out, be it new kicks or the latest cell phone, or like me in the middle of an NBA draft. What the hell is that guy doing here? But there are some instances where following the crowd is actually the best option. Take for example Toyota's Vios. They're everywhere, and I do mean literally everywhere. There's a good chance that you've been in one of these things. There's a good chance that you know somebody with one of these things. And for some of you out there, there's a good chance that you actually already own one of these models. But for those of you that don't, here's the question. Does going with Toyota's biggest hit work for you? This, ladies and gentlemen, is the 2021 Vios G. Now, the previous generation Vios had a lot of people up in arms about it because of its design. Some people liked it, but for the most part, people were like, yeah, yeah, not so much. But this time around, this particular refresh, well, it brings to it a sort of like more mature look to it, sort of like Camry-esque. Is that even a term? Up front, you have LEDs everywhere. The configuration here is similar to that of the Altis, and it gives a very smart and modern look. The fog lamps are surrounded by glossy plastic with a cut that adds aggression to the front clip, and more glossy plastics in the grille in a shape familiar to that of the Camry. See? The glossy plastics too do add sort of like a premium feel to it, more so than the other variants down the line. Under the hood, you are looking at a four-cylinder, 1.5-liter gasoline motor that produces 106 horses and 140 newton meters of torque mated to a CVT, which in total will give you pretty much a smooth driving experience. But don't expect a thrilling engine response to man for it. That being said, it does the job very well. Now, on the highway, it can get 21 kilometers per liter, more so at about 23 if you're like mine hin with the throttle. In the city where traffic is building up, yay, traffic that we all love, it does about eight kilometers per liter. So really for a car at this price point and in this range, it's just about par. The silhouette is undeniably Vios. With the repeaters on the side mirror, it's something that we are very familiar with, something that we see on the road almost all the time. What is new are the 16-inch wheels, which are now two-tone, that are wrapped in 50-series tires above 140 millimeters of ground clearance. Everything else is really, like I said, very familiar, except for one little flex that I'd like to show is that there are disc brakes all around. For a car at this price point, that's pretty darn good. Now at the rear, it's just like the previous generation. There really isn't much to talk about, not even the tail lamps, which are a mix of halogens and LEDs. Really, it's pretty much the same, except maybe for one little thing that peeks out right about here. Surprise, surprise, because now the VSG comes straight out of the factory with a reverse camera. Very nice touch. If you open her up, you are looking at 326 liters of very usable space in a very tiny car. Again, really not much to talk about back here, except maybe for one thing. While I do understand space savior tires, yeah, sure, it is something to be said about a car with a full-size spare. Ah. Now, the rear of the Vios, most of you might already know what it's like back here. You've got good leg room. Elbow room is actually pretty okay for two adults. If you cram in a third person, might not be that big of a problem because there is no tunnel in the center to speak of. This thing's like the Suez Canal. Okay, maybe I over-exaggerate, but you catch my drift. The headroom, nothing spectacular for much taller passengers back here. So, for long drives, like let's say from Batangas to La Union, Taller passengers might have a bit of an issue with that. The seats are actually pretty soft, which is nice. And the material is actually pretty nice too. But because it's a bench, there isn't much bolstering that happens back here. So if your driver, who is like Earl, likes to pretend like he's in the Vios Cup at all times, you might be dancing back here. Unfortunately, there are no toys back here to speak of, like none. There's no center armrest, no air vents, no charging points, just ball holders and speakers on either door. And really, that's about it. Oh, there are pockets back here, but I don't know if that counts as toys. Is it just me or does this thing look like a PS5? I wouldn't know, I don't own one. <laughs> the front seats are fairly comfortable, no complaints. The steering wheel too, built sturdy, no complaints either. I just wish that the steering wheel was telescopic. Unfortunately, it only moves kind of up and down and it's really, really close to the instrument cluster. So not a problem for shorter people like myself, but for taller drivers like Jack, yeah, he kind of looks like a 2000s ricers when he drives this thing. 
Oh, and another thing that you'll notice is that the instrument cluster is not exactly centered to the steering wheel. It's a little bit askew, one would say. I don't know if you can see it on camera. You might actually have to see it in the dealership itself. But really, once you do, you cannot unsee it and your OCD will really kick in. It's just a little off. You got your air controls here, which are pretty easy to understand. They're very well laid out. Your cup holders found down below, right beside a golf ball textured God knows what plate, which scares the crap out of Jack, really. You've got your 12 volt socket here in a very odd place, right next to the drifting mechanism. Now, the infotainment system is okay. It's not great. I'll just say it's okay because the backup camera is clear. It's actually quite responsive. Unfortunately, it doesn't have Android or Apple capabilities. So you still will have to fumble with your phone when it comes to navigating where you need to go. Do not operate your phone when you're driving though. Nah. Do please hit like and subscribe on our videos and don't forget that we do have a podcast that comes out every Wednesday featuring Gino and myself. That's always a lot of fun. The 2021 Vios G comes equipped with driver, front passenger, side, knee, and curtain airbags, ABS with EBD, hill start assist, traction control, engine immobilizer, and Isofix tether. Now, the way the CVT delivers power is actually pretty smooth. It'll get you where you need to be, obviously. But the power and acceleration, yeah, don't get way too excited about that. Yes, this is a Vios, but it is not a Vios Cup car. So you need to chill. You need to have a coconut smile when you drive this thing. God, I wish I was being paid to say that. It handles well for what it is. The steering is passable. It's got good weight, it's not numb, and it's not tiring to drive, which is always obviously important. It's good inside the metro, but I gotta say, it's probably much easier to drive on the highway or when you're going in a straight line at 100 kilometers per hour. Speaking of which, the NVH is actually quite a pleasant surprise. We didn't mind it at first because we were inside the city, inside the metro, but on the highway, we were like, what's going on? We can't hear anything. I'm not saying that it's a German automobile where it's absolutely dead inside the car, no. But it's actually pretty darn quiet. Now, I know what you're gonna say. Kako, it's just a Vios. It's nothing spectacular, but that's just it. It may be a car that a lot of people will think that it's just for A to B, those two points and not much else. But that's exactly why it's built, because it won't fail you from getting from point A to point B. And in this case, it does it in a whisper. So that is not bad. That's pretty impressive if you ask me. That being said, it could use just a little bit more flair. The interior inside the cabin when you're driving, as a driver, you feel a little, just a little bit of uh, blah, a little bit plain, a little vanilla, which is what Toyota has been, well, uh, guilty of. So I wish there was just a little bit more up front, but I'm not complaining. No, I'm not complaining. I'm just wishing there was a little bit more. Can you see what I'm saying? All in all, it's easy to see why so many people lean towards the Vios. Very easy to see. If tech is not exactly your strength and not something that you're looking for inside a car, then the Vios is definitely going to be a safe bet. And not just a safe bet, because this is an extremely safe car. The 2021 Toyota Vios G comes in at 1,056,000 Philippine pesos. Now, if that price sounds a little over budget to you, worry not. Do visit autodeal.com.ph and check out the very many variants available for the Vios with a budget that is tailored to your needs. So despite its shortcomings and some creature comforts and features that its rivals may have, you look past that and this is definitely a solid car. It's got a good ride, smooth power delivery, and a quiet cabin. It's not hard to see why so many people spend their hard-earned money on this particular automobile. Some, yes, may want something a little bit snazzier, but the Vios is built on a nameplate of reliability. So you can make sure that when you get this automobile, it can take a lick and keep on ticking.